this is my favorite part of the night really it's um it's the moment you it's the moment you get to look pensively into your own eyes in the mirror as you put on your earrings just like in the movies you just um you just stick that thing through and think of all you've lost all you've won i can't find the hole <laughs> Oh hi, I didn't see you there. I was checking my Instagram messages. My name is Hari Neff, and I'm here at the Beekman Hotel getting ready for the Vogue magazine, CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund dinner. And um, I'm ready to rock. Let's do this. <laughs> So I'm here with an actual Vogue editor, Alexandra Gervich, and we're gonna figure out what I'm wearing tonight. Please help me. Yes. So we have a bunch of great options from previous fashion fund designers. Amazing. Here are a few options from Brock Collection. Very beautiful, very Vogue. Yeah, and Laura's so nice. So nice. She's always so nice to me. Then we have some Proenza pieces. Oh, always so good. Yeah, the pleating is amazing. Yeah. Are the boys gonna be here tonight? I believe so. Yes! Yes. Okay, friend. It's always a Vogue celebration. Yeah. And then this amazing Vicara number. Oh, yes. Yes. You know, Patrick from Vicara and I were interns together. Really? Yeah. Where did you intern together? Uh, V Files. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember Vicara when Patrick was learning how to like cut pat, like learning how to make patterns. That, that would style. be really full circle if this ends up working. And then this insanely amazing coat. <laughs> is this Because it is cold in New York, so you might need some coverage. It is cold in New York, I yeah. miss it. You know that meme where it's like, can't wait till it's fall so I can really start dressing. It's like, you can't really ever yeah. start dressing in LA. Should we try some options on? Yeah, let's do it. Hello. It's very uh, Margot and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or like her goth cousin. It's kind of like perverted dead baby doll yellow. I like it. So this is option three. It's the Proenza. It's really fun to do this in. And um, I don't know, Alex said this is what the Vogue girls wear. It's kind of like a Vogue girl vibe. So it's definitely a click I'm trying to infiltrate. This is the Brock with um, the Brother Belly's boots. I'm comfortable in any heel. I've never fallen and I never will. I feel like the silhouette of the Brock is saying like, I'm nice, but the color is saying I'm me. So I feel mean and I feel nice at the same time. Things might get chaotic tonight. I think this is it, we just need jewelry. So I was thinking these really beautiful earrings to complement the black on the dress. Cute. And then I wanted to layer some things. I really love this wood pattern. I think it'll complement the brown and the boots really well. And then maybe because these are two different lengths, we could do this black with rose gold. And then loving the bracelets also with the black. Mm -hmm. And then maybe some pave. Perfect. Nice to add some diamonds. A little pave ring. Yeah, I, I wish you could be here every time I did the jewelry. <laughs> like whenever I see women who like wear like rings yeah. and necklaces and it's like when they when it's all thrown together, but it look, I wonder how they do it. Things are all squared away with the look, and now we are getting into hair, makeup, and nails. I always think it ends up looking the best when I kind of just kind of hand it over to the artists. What were you feeling? We could do a shape that like brings the eyes up and maybe a soft lip, maybe add a little cranberry tone like to the lid, a little metallic. Like kind of snatched. Snatched, exactly. Cool. Blake, what are you thinking? I think we should do like, 90s Liv Tyler, like fairy hair. You're just saying the words I want to hear. <laughs> the words that I repeat to myself when I um, look in the mirror before leaving the house every day. When I go to events, I try not to psych myself up and, you know, get, I'm putting on a 
dress and I'm gonna be in front of people and I'm gonna have my photo taken. Like, I try actually not to even go to anything that I am not personally invested in going into. I'm not just saying this because I'm in a Vogue video. I have friends who have been through this process, like the support of Vogue and the Fashion Fund as an institution. Like, even if you like, you don't win the fund or like don't win the prize or whatever, it just continues. Whether it's like coverage on the website or aspects of the mentorship, I think it's cool. New York fashion in specific is where I came out of and went everywhere else from. 2012, 2013, those were my like intern days. I was backstage tying Converse at Telfar in 2012 or 13, and now he's like a fashion fund winner. I feel like I've been a part of what's happened in New York in fashion over the past 15 years. Not, not 15 years, like 10 years. How old am I? <laughs> eight years, eight years. Any, oh my God, no, I got, ah, uh, uh, I, I got nail polish in my hair. Um, oh. I'm sorry, I like I just... Okay. Maybe That's it just okay, like yeah. bounced? I think you hit the I clip. Can. I think you hit the plastic clip. All right, as long as you stay, I'm good. You're good. Oh, yeah. There's like a lot of exciting new talent tonight. I'm kind of excited to see who wins. Yeah, it's gonna be glam and y'all get to eat chicken pot pie. What's better than that? So we're finishing up hair and makeup. Final touch-ups, just carving the face out a little bit more. Final fluffs. Blake, um, he's a fluffer, Blake. After that, we're gonna get into the final look. Everything you've been waiting for. <laughs> all leads up to now. It, it, it all leads up to this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing the finishing touches of Tiffany Jewels. A little bit of a cuff moment. We're double cuffing tonight. It's cuffing season, ladies. Ring season may be forthcoming. Victory is mine. Let's go. Secure the bag, as the girls say on Twitter. And uh, the coat. Ta-da. Yep. The spoils of all our toils <laughs> is me right now in this outfit. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I have to go. Oh, I didn't put fragrance on. Oh, well. So we're in the car, we're on our way to the dinner. I actually had a lot of fun getting ready. It's the journey, not the destination, you know. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to a very prestigious barbecue where a very lucky designer is going to get awarded a very prestigious rack of ribs by Anu Wintour. <laughs> It's a barbecue. That's what I have to tell myself in order to stay cool. In reality, it's a big night. <laughs> well, I'm literally shocked that paparazzi took photos of me. They usually just look the other way. So my ego is boosted. That happens about twice a year. Um, I had a really great time with you tonight. I'm ready to rock and roll, signing off, and um, stay cool.